the thing that our group uh, really tries to do is to uh, design new flame retardants from uh, natural materials. So we'll take natural materials and we'll try to modify it using a method that is, um, uh, has the, the least impact on the environment as we try to modify it. And uh, then get a flame retardant that can reduce the flammability of plastics. They've been discussing a lot of ones where they, they have clay nanoparticles that they coat onto the surface of, of the material that needs, that needs um, fire retarding. And they, instead of having it affect the mechanical properties of the actual material, you're simply coating it on the surface um, so that you don't, you don't damage the material itself, but you're still, you're, you're essentially encasing it in a, in, in a, a fireproof layer. Uh, the clothing you're wearing, so they're not flame proof. So we're working on coating each fabrics with a very thin layer in order to get it fireproof, which means you will not get burned. And, but in doing so, we're adding some other properties than flame retardancy. So you will have a coating, a, a fabric that will not burn, and maybe it's uh, super hydrophobic at the same time, which means if you get some coffee, you can just wash it off. And so for the halogenated materials, you're seeing development of oligomeric materials that cannot escape a polymeric matrix in which they're placed. They can't get out into the landfill and into the water and so on. And I, I, th I think, uh, you know, in our particular case, we're looking at uh, developing things that are based on uh, bio renewable biosources. We are trying to develop flame retardants that really work with nature. For example, uh, we're looking at starches, um, we're looking at uh, sugars and proteins. Um, there are many, if you look at plants or, or trees, there is a degree of flame retardants in those materials. So we're trying to simulate nature and use the same kind of additives for flame retardants.